The Tone Curve tool can be used for creative purposes, especially by acting on individual RGB channels. The principle is quite simple. Selecting a single channel and bringing the curve above the neutral line introduces a dominant of the selected color. Bringing it below introduces a dominant of the complementary color. By acting on the red channel, red or cyan dominance can be introduced. By acting on the green channel, green or magenta dominance can be introduced. By acting on the blue channel, blue or yellow dominance can be introduced. It is also possible to create S-shaped curves that cross the neutral line. The principle does not change. An S-curve on the green channel, for example, will generate green dominant highlights and magenta dominant lowlights. With an inverted S, you will obviously get the opposite effect. A very special but also a very simple effect to achieve is solarization. Select all the channels, white circle, and click roughly in the center of the line to create an anchor point. Drag the right end down to give the curve a bell shape, and you are done. The height of the bell determines the intensity of the effect. Of course, nothing prohibits combining multiple effects. This, for example, is the result of solarization done only on the green channel. And this is what happened with a solarization on the red channel and a yellow dominant. The possible variations are almost endless. Two other easy recipes with curves are Exprocess and Antique. For the Antique effect, give the blue channel an inverted S shape, and the red a classic S shape. By adding an S shape also to the green channel, you get the so called X process effect.
a final example of an antique defect. Small changes in the shape of the curve produce large changes in the image. Experiment until you find the result you like.